Installation of floor standing unit. Installation location selection. An appropriate position should be chosen before the installation of split floor standing air conditioner. Here are some inappropriate positions of installation. There is heat source or steam source near the installation position. There are obstacles which block the air circulation near the installation position. There is fume or droplet near the installation position. Being too close to combustible objects such as curtain, clothing and other movable items. Position which is within 1 meter, 40 inches, far away from television, stereo or other household appliances. Position where flammable explosive or corrosive gas may leak. When installed, the indoor unit should keep minimum distance to surrounding objects. Preparation of installation tools. During the installation, the following tools may be used. Pipe preparation. Cut the suitable length of copper pipe as required. Turn pipe cutter slowly and keep increasing force gradually. Make sure there is no deformation, cut surface should be level. Put the open of pipe downward and remove burr inside with a scraper. Use rubberized fabric to wrap copper pipe head or use a cap to seal the pipe to prevent foreign materials from entering. Sheath the insulating tube. You should add glue between two insulation tubes if one is not long enough to avoid the condensation. Sleeve the nut. Pipe expanding. Make pipe socket for copper pipe with pipe expander. Firmly hold copper pipe in a die in the dimensions shown in the table. Fix flaring tools. Turn the handle clockwise and stop it when it rattles. Turn the handle counterclockwise and remove the tool. Pipe socket should be level, uniform and free of crack. Wire stripping. Select applicable wire according to rated current value. Two common specifications are shown in the figure. Strip rubber skin at both ends of connecting wire separately to uncover the connecting wire. Use wire stripper to strip wire core. The length of naked core should be around 10 mm, 0.5 inches. Install the main unit. Unpack the indoor unit, take it out and make it stand. Release two screws of both sides of the unit and open the lower panel. Take out all the accessories and check them according to the manual to see if all are there. Drill a wall hole. Measure the height of the pipe exit and determine the position of wall hole according to the installation position of the main unit. Drill the wall hole. Indoor side should be at least 1 cm, 0.5 inches, higher than outdoor side, which is good for drainage and also avoids rain to go inside. Measure the height from pipe connectors to the pipe exit and measure the length difference of gas pipe connector and liquid pipe connector. Determine and mark the position which is need to be bent. Wrap the connection pipe cable and drain pipe together in order where connection cable are at upper side, copper pipe is in the middle and drain pipe is at lower side. Put the other side of connection pipe assembly through the wall hole to outside. Copper pipe should be sealed to prevent dust or foreign materials from entering when going through the wall. Make the pipe exit open after pipe out direction is confirmed. Put on the pipe ring and cut it out with a knife. Make the pipes go through it and inside the unit. Bend the pipes with a 90 degree angle. Be careful that never make the pipes shrunken or transformed. Pipe connection. Remove nut cap of copper pipe. The cone should be vertical to top pipe socket. When the nut is near the bottom of bolt, tighten it with wrench. Loosen it moderately after tightening for further tightening. Wiring. Please read wiring diagram carefully and prepare the correct cable before wiring work. 
Release two screws on both sides of electrical control box and take away the cover. Take down the cable pad. Make power cable and communication cable connect to the wiring terminal according to the wiring diagram. Maintain appropriate curvature to avoid the loosening of wiring terminal under stress. Press the connecting cables with cable pad and get it fixed. Reinstall the cover of electrical control box. Drain pipe connection. Connect the extension drain pipe to the drain hose. Seal drain pipe interface with adhesive to avoid loosening and leakage. Coiling is not allowed for water pipe. Leak detection. When outdoor unit is installed and vacuum work is finished, open both valves of outdoor unit and let the refrigerant go into indoor unit. The two connectors of gas pipe and liquid pipe should be checked if there is any gas leakage. Probe moves around two connectors at slow and uniform speed of 2 to 5 cm a second and the probe is kept at the length of 1 mm to 5 mm 0.04 to 0.2 inches away from the connectors. It turns one lap around valve ports of high pressure valve and low pressure valve respectively. If leak alarm occurs, remove probe for retesting and confirmation. Soapy water detection. Apply soapy water. Washing powder is inapplicable of high concentration to all interfaces of nuts with brush. Then observe it for two to three minutes. Repeat this as needed. If bubbles emerges, leakages exist in the system, nut should be tightened further. Cover the connectors with insulation tube and bend them with banding tape. Remember to remove the anti-rotate locker of the fan wheel. There is a locker inside the fan wheel Release the fixing screw to remove the locker. Turn the fan wheel by hand to check if there is any resistance. Mount the lower panel back and lock it with screws. Put the wall hole socket back. Move the unit to the installation position. Fix the unit to the wall on the top with an L-shape accessory and screws to avoid accidental falling if necessary. Turn on the unit and test each function to make sure everything is normal. Check if there is water flows through drain pipe smoothly. Drain pipe should be inserted into outside drain pipeline. Use damping adhesive to seal the wall hole to prevent foreign materials from entering the room.